Hi everyone, Kyle here from Redis Labs. Today we're going to be talking about the specifics of scaling Redis Enterprise with shards. This is another one of our deep dive series of videos, so if you're just getting introduced to Redis Enterprise, our getting started video or documentation might be a better place to start. We're going to begin with Redis Enterprise already set up and installed. I've got a little script running that is constantly hitting Redis. This is a single connection that will stay connected to Redis Enterprise. Okay, let's add some shards. First, scroll down to Database Clustering, then tick the box. Second, the box labeled Number of Shards will appear. Let's move this up to four. Third, we'll go to the bottom and click Update, and the cluster will start creating the shards. What exactly is going on when we add shards? Inside Redis Enterprise, the software creates new instances of Redis and immediately starts duplicating the data from the original shard to the new shards. In our case, we have four complete copies of our data at this point. The proxy will immediately start using the data on all the shards as soon as it's available. In the background, the shards automatically start trimming out the redundant keys, creating an even distribution of keys across all the shards. Okay, looking back at our cluster, we can see that it has scaled out to our new shards. What's cool about this process is that it never misses a beat. All of this is occurring automatically while the cluster is still being operated on. No downtime, nor effects to your overall operation. By scaling out Redis Enterprise with shards, you can better take advantage of your existing infrastructure and gain performance with three easy steps. If you have any questions about scaling Redis Enterprise with shards, please contact expert at redislabs.com.